What if I told you you could create a GraphQL API in minutes instead of days or weeks? At Stepsen, we've created a unique declarative approach to help you get started with GraphQL even faster than you could have imagined. We even help you to do the hard parts such as authorization, scalability, or making sure no unnecessary round trips to your data source are being made. In this video, I'll show you just how easy it is to build your first GraphQL API using Stepsen. On the Stepsen website, you can sign up for a free account by clicking Start for free. And after signing up for an account, you will be redirected to the Stepsen dashboard. In the Stepsen dashboard, you can find a list of pre-configured connectors such as MySQL, Postgres, Datastacks. But you can also find a section called All Connectors. So if your data source isn't mentioned in this list, you can still connect it if it has a REST API, a GraphQL API, SOAP API, or maybe even a different way of connecting to it. For this video, we'll be using a MySQL connector. So by pressing the MySQL button, you will be redirected to the next step where you can configure the details to connect with your MySQL database. After filling in your connection details, you can press next step. In this next step, you can find the installation instructions for a steps in CLI. As Stepsen is based on a CLI, you need to install the CLI first before you can continue building your Stepsen GraphQL API. For this, you will need to open up your terminal or for example, your code editor. For this video, I've created a new directory on my local machine. And this directory I've called Stepsen Walkthrough. I've opened this directory in VS Code where I will execute the commands that were listed in the Stepsen dashboard. So I'll be going back to the Stepsen dashboard where I'll copy paste the commands to install the Stepsen CLI. The first command is to install the Stepsen CLI from npm. After running this command for my terminal or for my code editor, I can continue logging into the Stepsen CLI so my Stepsen account will be linked to the CLI. And this is important when I want to deploy my GraphQL API later on. So from the steps and dashboard, I can copy the command to log in using my username, and then I'll be prompted for my admin key. And for the sake of security, I'll be leaving out this step from this video. But you'll need to go back to the steps and dashboard where you need to copy paste your admin key so you'll be able to log in to the steps and CLI from your local machine. And now you've successfully logged into the steps and CLI with your account, meaning that your Stepsen account is linked with the CLI on your local machine. And this means we can continue building our Stepsen GraphQL API from the dashboard. By pressing next step, I will get a new set of CLI commands that I can then again run in my VS Code editor or maybe in your terminal if you're working from there. These commands are to initialize your project, to import your backend, which is the MySQL database that we provided the credentials for earlier on, and then finally, we're going to type steps and start in a terminal to deploy our steps and GraphQL API and also make it possible to explore it directly from the steps in dashboard. So first, I'll copy paste the command to initialize a new project. So for my VS Code project or your terminal, you can run steps and init and then provide the endpoint flag. So this will create a steps config.json file which contains the name of your endpoint, which in this case is API slash getting started. Also, we can copy paste the command to import our backend. I can just copy paste this and I don't have to worry about the password as it will be included in the copy pasted command. So when I copy the command to import my MySQL database into my VS Code project or your terminal, Stepsen will start introspecting the remote database and create a GraphQL schema that translates the database tables to a GraphQL schema. So by running this, it will introspect the database and create a new GraphQL schema that I can find in my steps and directory. And this will include all the tables that I have in my database, including a set of pre-configured queries. And these queries will help me to get the information out of my database and out to the user exploring my GraphQL API. And then a final step, as we found on the dashboard, is to run steps and start. By running steps and start, we will deploy our GraphQL API to steps and cloud, and then we should be able to explore it directly from the dashboard. 
In my VS Code project, I've already run steps and start. So I can continue to go to the next step where our step sum will check if my API slash getting started endpoint is actually running. And as you can see here, it is running and we've used a MySQL database to get it started. From this box below, I can decide to view analytics for my endpoint, but I can also decide to explore my endpoint. And this is the same URL that you just saw in your terminal. So by clicking explore endpoint, I will go to the steps and GraphQL Explorer. And from this Explorer, I can send requests to my GraphQL API. The very first time you open this page, a query will already be pre-populated for you based on the data in your GraphQL schema. If I press run, you can see the first data will be taken from my GraphQL API and being shown directly here in the GraphQL Explorer. I can also erase this query and add another query. For example, I can get a list of addresses, including its ID, country, region, and city. And by running this, the data will be get from my MySQL database and shown directly here in the GraphQL Explorer. From this Explorer, you can also export snippets to make a curl request to your GraphQL API or even directly export JavaScript, Python, or React Apollo snippets. In this video, I've showed how easy it is to build a GraphQL API using Stepsend. We've generated a GraphQL schema based on a MySQL database, and then we've deployed it to the cloud, all using the Stepsend CLI. At the same time, we also use the Stepsend dashboard to make it easier to generate the CLI commands and to explore a GraphQL API directly from the dashboard. But of course, there's much more you can learn about Stepsend and much more you can build. For example, you can connect multiple data sources, so not only a MySQL database, but also different databases, REST APIs, or other GraphQL APIs. So to continue exploring how to work with Stepsend, I advise you to check out the other videos on the Stepsend YouTube, explore our blog, or book a demo using the link below.